Oh hey, my name is Nadia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week, a very special lady is turning 83. That's right, it's Bubba's birthday week and I figured I would take you guys along on a little vlog journey showing you how I'm gonna make her one of those, well, attempt to make her one of those fancy number cakes that I've been seeing everywhere and all the preparation that's going into her mini party that we're having. So I guess on that note, let's get vlogging. So I'm just about to start making Bubba's cake and I want to show you guys how I lay out my ingredients when I'm usually baking or cooking um, to help me stay organized and make sure I don't miss anything. So usually what I do is I look at the recipe and see in what order the ingredients are and that's how I lay them out on my counter. For this specific recipe, I did have to measure out all of them times four because I'm making four separate recipes for the four different layers, which all of that will hopefully make sense by the end of this video. For me personally, I just like this. I like being organized in the kitchen. I like having a clean kitchen, making it easier to work around. Although this background isn't very clean. This is a very raw shot of me making this cake because we're kind of doing it in a little bit of a makeshift way because technically Bubba's birthday is tomorrow, but we're having a little birthday party for her the following day, which is Saturday. But you guys aren't really seeing this until the week later. So this already happened. Bubba's been 83 for a little while now, so it's all good. So long story short, that is how I organize my ingredients. So this is all gonna stay organized here. And one thing that I guess you guys don't really see in the videos because it's cut off is this is the kitchen counter, but we actually have another like elevated counter right here. I'll do a kitchen tour one day, you guys can see it. But that's where I like to keep my recipe, so I have it written down on this fun little piece of paper, um, the instructions and everything like that, so I just keep that right in front of me. I can look at it, I don't lose it, it doesn't get dirty because it's far away from everything. My mother is the complete opposite, she will keep her recipe book right on the counter. I don't know, it just makes sense for her, this makes sense for me, to each their own, and I think on that note, I gotta get mixing, cause I'm running out of time. <laughs> this cake was pretty simple to make. So in a stand fixer fitted with the whisk attachment, you're going to combine five eggs and four egg whites. The easiest way to separate your eggs is to crack them on each other and then toss the yolk from shell to shell. I like to crack the eggs in a separate bowl because if you get shell inside, or in this case the yolk breaks, you can use one of the shells and get it out. To the eggs, you're going to add a quarter cup of sugar, and lemon zest, and two packs of vanilla sugar. Start mixing on a low speed, otherwise you will have eggs everywhere, and then up the speed and let it whisk until it's really fluffy. It took about seven minutes for it to look like this, and then once it did, I added some vanilla, hot water, oil, baking powder, and flour. I mix this for another minute or so and just before I pour the cake batter into the pan, I'm gonna line it with some parchment paper so that it doesn't stick. And how I like to do that is just take a little bit of oil on a paper towel. That might be a little bit too much, but it's fine. And then you just wanna make sure that the pan is, I guess kind of just brushed with oil. You can save this for later. We always use these parchment paper sheets that come pre-cut. I don't know why, I personally just find it easier. So because we use the oil, the parchment paper is literally sticking like glue to this pan and i'm gonna brush just a little bit of oil in the middle so the other piece of parchment paper sticks and there you have it this parchment paper literally is not going to move at all so when you're pouring the batter it's not going to shift it just makes things 10 times easier and it actually lets you get the full shape of the pan because if you don't then sometimes you have these like weird crinkled edges i mean we're going to be cutting the edges off anyway but if you weren't then it saves you the headache that's going to bake on 350 for 15 to 20 minutes. It's a pretty thin cake, so it won't take too long to bake, but each oven is different, so please keep an eye on it. I always like to check by sticking a toothpick in the middle, and if it comes out clean, then I know it's done. So I messed this one up a little bit. I thought that I was supposed to put one cup of oil and one cup of water, so I did end up adding the one cup of water, but I realized it was actually only supposed to be 100 milliliters, so I did add the 100 milliliters of oil, but... Honestly, I'm not gonna tell my mom and I'm gonna see if she says anything. She's out grocery shopping right now. So if she says something, then I'll redo this layer. If not, then I mean, it's basically the exact same as that one. And like, it's just water, right? It's not gonna hurt anybody, so. That's kind of where I'm at in this thought process. Okay, so this is basically cooled. I can touch the pan, it's not hot. Um, but I'm gonna transfer it to this cooling rack because I need this pan to make the next layers. So I'm gonna try sliding this off. It's a very spongy, like delicate feeling cake. It didn't stick to the pan though, which is what we were going for. Oh, it's ripping. It's ripping on the sides. Okay, 
just committing, I'm committing, and it ripped. It, like, okay, the thing with cakes ripping, though, is most of the time it's not that big of a deal because it is just going to be covered in icing. This cake is going to be a little bit different because it's not going to be... I guess it is going to be completely covered in icing, so it's fine. But now I'm worried that when I go to cut them into the numbers, it's going to have... We're going to have some issues. So I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Hopefully that one's a little easier to take out. This one's still, still a little hot. Hmm. I'm going to leave this one to cool while I cook up the other layer, and hopefully by the time everything kind of comes together, that will be cool enough that I can transfer it. <sighs> I'm upset that this ripped. One hour later. I'm back. The third layer is in the oven. That's like the noise that you hear in the background. So I have to transfer this layer onto here. The other bonus about putting parchment paper down on your pans is that you can use it when you're stacking your layers so they don't like stick completely together. And that's how I'm going to store these overnight. Okay, definitely more intact. So all the layers of the cake cooled and I covered them up with saran wrap to prevent them from drying. They're gonna sit like that until I go ahead and cut the numbers out of them. Tomorrow is Bubba's birthday, so we have a bunch of errands to run. I'm gonna decorate the cake probably the day after. It's not that late, it's like 9 p.m. It didn't really take me all that long to make those cakes, but I am absolutely exhausted, so I'm gonna go get ready for bed and I will keep you guys updated on what happens on the big day tomorrow. It's Baba's birthday! Happy birthday, Baba! Can you be the Baba Twaya? How old are you? Uh, 83. Yeah. <laughs> 83 today. And where are we going? I don't know where you take me. Yeah, you do. We're getting oh, your you hair take done. Me for hair done. And maybe we'll get coffee. Because you like coffee. Oh, yeah, that's coffee for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just dropped Baba off at her hair appointment. Now I'm at the dollar store getting some flowers for the cake. I chose these ones. And then I have to get napkins and plates. Uh, and I think we're going with floral themes. So let's see what they have. Can we talk about how the dollar store already has their Halloween stuff out? It's only August. I don't understand. I got you a button. Oh, for what? It says birthday girl. Oh no, birthday girl. You want it here? Yes, please. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Brava now. Baba said. Brava Baba? No, yeah. it says girl, not Baba. Ah, girl. Happy birthday girl. No, okay. just birthday girl. Ah, birthday girl, okay. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> Thank you, Sime. Thank you. You see, me have coffee, me have uh, uh, hair done, and I have this too. You know. You're a happy Baba. I'm very happy. Good. I'm very happy. <laughs> it's the day of the party, and my task this morning is to finish the cake. And to do that, I need to make the frosting, which I'm gonna do by combining two containers of mascarpone cheese and one cup of icing sugar. I'm gonna mix this with the whisk attachment, and when it's really well combined, I'm gonna add one liter of whipping cream and whisk until it forms peaks. Now I need to transfer the cakes to a cutting board and I'm gonna cut the numbers out of them. I actually made these stencils myself a few days ago, so I just found a stencil online that I liked, I'll make sure to link it down below, and then I traced it onto some parchment paper. I of course made sure that the parchment paper fit the pan I would be baking the cakes in, and then I just cut the numbers out. You could use a toothpick to hold the parchment paper down, but I really didn't need to do that, it kind of stuck to the cake, so I got off easy. Honestly, this cake was a dream to cut. It didn't crumble at all, and it was really only the first layer that broke. The others held their shape really, really well. I threw the ends that I cut off into a container just to be able to store them a little easier, but you can of course munch on these, you can throw them in the compost, or you can even add some icing to them and make cake pops. Once I had the numbers done, I filled my piping bag with the filling, and I used the Wilton Round Decorating Tip number 12, which will be linked below, but you can of course use any tip that you'd like. This was pretty easy, I just piped the whole thing, and then I felt like the cake needed something, so I added some chopped strawberries in the middle, and then added the second layer on top. I did the same thing for the number three, and just before I got to the top of the cake, I realized that I definitely was not going to have enough filling, so I whipped another liter of whipping cream, and then folded it into the existing mixture, and it worked perfectly. And yes, I know I should have put the broken layer on the bottom, but it was too late, and the icing covered it just fine, so there's really nothing to worry about. 
From here, I added the flowers that I got from the dollar store. I wrapped the stems of the flower in saran wrap, which I would definitely recommend doing, especially if you're using fresh flowers. Just make sure to not lose the saran wrap in the cake. Then I just added some half strawberries, some macaroons I bought, a few pieces of chocolate, and some blueberries. This was probably the best part about making this cake, and of course, you can play around with it and have fun, but I'm really happy with how it turned out, and so is Bubba. One candle, it's gonna burn. I know, it's gonna burn, Bubba. Check out Bubba, look at that dog here. So we had a lot of fun at your party, but I want to know how you actually like the cake. So are you ready for the taste test? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, <laughs> yes please. Mm. Mm -hmm. You made it? Yes. That's good. <laughs> Did you like your cake? I love it. Were you surprised when you saw it? Sure, I surprised. I surprised. I don't know. That's... I have two cake. <laughs> With some number, I have two cake. Did you think you were 38 when you saw it, or 83? 38. Yeah? Yeah. That's good. Do you feel 38? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so, Baba, what do you rate this cake out of 10? Do you give it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. 8, 9, 10? 10. 10. Well, there you have it. Baba gives this cake a 10 out of 10. Would you make it, would you want me to make it for you again? Many, many years you have to make. <laughs> That's all from us this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess we'll see you at Baba's 100th birthday? It's okay. Sooner? I, I fine. I'm fine with that. You're fine with that? But yeah. we'll see you sooner than that, yeah, right? Yeah, I see you. <laughs> see you next Friday. Bye. <laughs> Is this going to focus on me? Because if it's not, then that's just really annoying. Is it going to look so creepy? Oh god, my arm is getting very tired from holding the camera. It's not a very light camera and I don't have a portable tripod for it. Okay, my hair is the least messy probably there. My task this morning is... Oh my god, my dad just sneezed. <laughs>